it's about 7.15 in the morning on uh, Sunday. May 7th, 2023. And last night we had a storm blow through after the sunset, lightning show and everything. Um, it was about uh, three quarters an inch of rain that we got. Everything's wet now. Hold on, I lost a post in the field here. There it is. I came back to my side by side. I had four posts. I was supposed to have five. Here's the missing post. It fell out of my arms. Anyway, the cows in my neighbor's south property, my neighbor's to the south. I don't know who that is. You know, look it up. Their cows are just calling. Like they're looking for their calves. I don't know what's going on there. Anyway. Oh, now the winds are always starting to blow. It's about 65 degrees. It's very nice. High humidity, 87%. Um, super nice though. Yeah, the ground is much softer now. Hopefully that'll encourage more growth. Cows are doing perfectly fine. Gave them a double section, a double cell today. <clears throat> because we're probably not going to come back in the afternoon. <sighs> going to visit my cousins. No, my brothers, my nieces and nephews. You know, so. Flies aren't too bad. After a rainstorm, I guess. This grass I'm in right now is up past my knees. Somebody asked, how do I know if the bulls are doing their job and breeding with the cows? Well, I don't. Um, you, uh, I, I could sit here and watch him, you know, watch him mount the cows and hope that he did what he's supposed to do. But uh, detecting pregnancy in the cows is not easy. And uh, like you won't know for three months if a vet is trained, you know, puts on a long glove and sticks his hand up the butt, feels around, he might be able to tell if he's pregnant. But given how little I know about cows, I won't know for nine months, <laughs> nine, ten months. In which case, if he did his job, I'll have a bunch of little calves running around. And if he didn't, then I won't. You know, so. Number 18, how you doing? <laughs> oh, the wind decided to blow once I start filming. Here's some dandelion. My allergies aren't too bad. The wind's blowing from the direction of the cedar tree, so maybe the cedar trees have turned off their Satan spores. Number 20. Number 20 is getting folds of fat on her tail there. That's a good sign. That's a very good sign. Let's go see what else we got. <laughs> Number 10, the half Brahmin, half Angus, Brangus. Number 15. <laughs> He's a bull. Oh, did you pull that grass out of the ground? 
Here's number 24. Is she going backwards? I can see the the bumps on her ridge now. Huh. Huh. The tail doesn't look too bad. Maybe I will deworm her. <sighs> yeah, I think in about two weeks I'll put her in the pen by herself and then feed her um, some feed mixed with the deworming stuff. But that's what it is. I hope it's, I hope I'm not getting confused. I think it's the minerals that have the, the flight control and the feed they have with the dewormer. <sighs> Hopefully that's the last time I have to do that on this land. Right, number 19? <laughs> number 19's in beautiful condition. Just fantastic. Take a look at the tail there. That's my neighbor's cow. I got a glimpse of one of his calves. The calf was running along the fence, chasing the dogs on my side of the fence. That was pretty neat. There's big red. Number 19 again. <laughs> Let's go get a picture of the sheep. Why is this wire so loose? I thought I tightened it pretty well. I'll have to double check it. Metal tag. So, it's hard to make out, but there's two white dots in the field of grass. This morning when I was putting up the wire, I could see four white dots. So, right now the, the lambs are hidden from view. I can't even see them. If I watch them a little bit, I might be able to see them, but... Yeah. Anyway, it's a beautiful morning. Hope you guys enjoy your Monday. This is my Sunday. <laughs> Have a great day. Bye-bye.